In this video, I'm trying to answer the question, an object is placed 14.4 centimeters to the left of a converging lens, a focal point 8 centimeters. Um, a diverging lens, a focal point negative 3 centimeters, is located 24 centimeters to the right of the converging lens. Light travels from the object um, such that the first passes through the converging lens and then through the diverging lens. A. What is the location of the final image? And B. What is the overall magnification of the two lens system? Okay, for this problem, what I did is I already drew out these two um, things. This is more of a. Um, this is what I'm going to use for this first part, and this is what I'm going to use for uh, kind of like drawing out how the image is going to look, a more blown up version. Okay, so. The equation I used, I'm going to do part A first, is uh, 1 divided by Q is equal to 1 over the uh, focal point minus 1 over the distance of the object. This is distance to the image, distance to the object. Okay, um, since we're doing, I'm only doing the first lens here, so I label this first. Um, I have 1 over Q is equal to 1 over the focal point, um, which is 8 centimeters for the first lens, and that is positive 8 centimeters, minus 1 over the object distance, which is 14.4 centimeters. And to save time, um, I'm going to allow you to do those calculations, and I got 1 over Q is equal to is equal to 15 point uh, 2 cm um, under negative 6.4 which after an inversion we get q to be equal to negative 18 centimeters and that 18 centimeters is behind the object, so I'm drawing these rays from here. This will be 18 centimeters. This will be 24 centimeters total in length. The focal points focal points on this is uh, 8 centimeters. And it goes down, hits that across and the uh, new image oh, let's use a different color be right there and that's actually um, going to be the image created by this lens but um, for the second lens which I'm going to go to right now we actually use that as the real image so what we do then is again same equation 1 over Q in this case, it's also the um, image is equal to 1 over the focal point minus 1 over the object distance. In this case, it's not really the object distance, it's the object image, is what I would call it. So we just plug everything in again. Um, for this, we do 24 total centimeters minus 18 centimeters which gives us a total of 6 centimeters for this because the image is 6 centimeters away from the next lens and the focal point is negative 3 centimeters so we have 1 over negative 3 centimeters minus 1 over 6 centimeters which ends up giving us 1 over Q is equal to um, 9 over negative 18 centimeters which means Q is equal to negative 2 centimeters. That means that the focal point is 2 centimeters behind this lens. So, or the Sorry, not the focal point. The uh, image appearing is two centimeters behind that lens. Um, 
So that is where the image appears. The image appears two centimeters behind the lens, which would answer, um, which specifies what direction. Uh, oh. So it'll be two centimeters to the right of the last lens. And I'll specify all the answers for A. For B, what we have is the overall mag uh, magnification system. And you know magnification is equal to M, or symbolized by M, which is equal to or equivalent to 1 over the object um, distance, or the image distance divided by the object distance. And in the lens, I'm going to calculate uh, what I call M1 and then M2 for the magnification of the first lens plus the magnification of the second lens, or times the magnification of the first, uh, second lens. Sorry, multiply the two. So M1 and times M2 uh, is equal to MT. So what I have is P, um, I have Q here. Q is equal to um, negative 18 centimeters divided by P, I have actually, um, which is equal to 14.4 centimeters. And actually I have two negatives here, so they cancel out. And that will give me 1.25, a magnification of 1.25. And for up here, we'll have negative Q, which is equal to negative 2 centimeters, divided by 6 centimeters, which is P. Again, these negatives cancel out. And we are left with 1 third, which is about, which is exactly 0.3 three repeating. So the magnification total is 1.25 M1 multiplied by M2 which is 0.33 repeating which gives us a number that never ends um, has an infinite number of digits 6, 6 repeating or 0.417, roughly. And this is what I'd write down as the answer. And that should answer part B.